Hey everyone and welcome back to Viral Trends. When Cardi B filed for divorce after nearly three years of marriage, it was reported that Offset's long-rumoured infidelity played a major role in the decision. According to recent reports, the Bodak Yellow rapper overlooked her husband's indiscretions over the years for the sake of their two-year-old daughter, Culture Kyrie Cyphers. Today, we're going to be talking about why Cardi B decided to divorce Offset and give insights into their reunion again. Make sure you stay until the end of the video as you don't want to miss this unique discussion about reasons why Cardi B decided to divorce Offset and insights into their reunion. Offset has pretty much cheated the entire time they've been together, but Cardi looked the other way because of the baby, a known source said. She also didn't want to be embarrassed, but she's had enough. When Cardi B filed for divorce after nearly three years of marriage, it was reported that Offset's long-rumoured infidelity played a major role in the decision. According to recent reports, the Bodak Yellow rapper overlooked her husband's indiscretions over the years for the sake of their two-year-old daughter, Culture Kiari Cyphers. Offset has pretty much cheated the entire time they've been together, but Cardi looked the other way because of the baby, a known source said. She also didn't want to be embarrassed, but now she's had enough. However, Cardi B has now set the record straight in her own words. In an Instagram Live video on Friday, September 18, Cardi B confirmed reports that she intends to divorce Offset, shedding light on why the two ended their marriage. Cardi explained that after nearly three years of marriage, she got tired of not seeing things eye to eye. Referencing the pair's very public breakup that occurred in 2018 after Offset had cheated her, she assured fans that the past had nothing to do with her recent decision. She said that she had simply grown tired of arguing, explaining and that sometimes people really do grow apart. I have been with this man for four years. I have a kid with this man. I have a household with this man. Sometimes you're just tired of the arguments and the build up. You get tired sometimes and build something happens. You leave. The reason for my divorce is not because of none of that shit that ever happened before. It's because of cheating, she said. I'm seeing people be like, oh, he has a baby on the way. That's a whole fucking complete lie. She continued, I got tired of fucking arguing. I got tired of not seeing things eye to eye. When you feel like things aren't the same anymore, before you actually get cheated on, I'd rather leave. I could date any man I want, she said in September. My DMs are flooded. I don't actually want to date nobody. I'm so focused on my business that it's crazy. She also discussed her divorce, saying, you cannot hurt my feelings trying to throw the divorce in my face because at the end of the day, I decided I wanted to leave. I didn't wait until he cheated on me again. I didn't wait for another controversy with him being involved. I decided to leave. If I wanted to stay, I could have stayed. I decided to leave. At the time, she mentioned that she and Offset broke up on good terms. I don't have a bad relationship with my baby father at all, she explained. I don't have no hatred towards him and I don't wish him nothing bad. And I know nothing that he feels the same way about me. Back in 2018, the two had a very public falling out and reconciliation. After previously splitting up, Offset had interrupted one of Cardi's live performances with many on social media reacting unfavorably to the gesture. Cardi later asked for an end to the online bullying, saying, I'm not saying that I'm gonna get back together with Offset, I just don't like the bashing online thing. Cardi and Offset began dating in February 2017 and secretly tied the knot in September of the same year, though they didn't actually confirm their marriage until December 2018. Around the same time, rumors of Seth's alleged infidelity began swirling through. Cardi defended him on social media and ultimately decided to stay in the relationship. No, it's not right for a man to cheat, but what do you want me to do? She wrote on Twitter at the time, adding, This shit happens to everyone and I be too, you too. People handed their relationship different so. However, by the end of that year, after they welcomed baby culture in June 2018, Cardi and Offset had broken up amid even more reports of the MyGo's rapper infidelity. We are really good friends and we are really good business partners, but things just haven't been working out between us for a long time. It's nobody's fault, I guess, we just grew out of love, but we are not together anymore. It might take time to get a divorce and I'm gonna always have a lot of time for him because he's my daughter's father. The split was short lived though. After a very public campaign by Offset to win Cardi back, the couple confirmed that they had reconciled in early 2019. When myself and my husband got into our issues, you know, he cheated and everything, and I decided to stay with him and work together with him. A lot of people were so mad at me. A lot of women felt disappointed in me, Cardi explained in a January 2020 interview with Vogue. But it's real life shit. People that are in marriages for years, when they say till death do us part, they're not talking about the little arguments. Like if you leave the fridge open, that's including everything. The rapper, whose real name is Balkais Malinas Almanzar, filed a divorce petition in Fulton County, Georgia, requesting an end to a marriage to the Mygos rapper, whose real name is Kiari Kendrell Cyphers. According to the petition, Cardi B wants legal and primary physical custody of the couple's two-year-old daughter culture. She also seeks an equitable division of their marital assets, as well as for offset to pay for both child support and for all of her legal fees from the divorce. 
Cardi B also refuted rumours that she's getting a divorce for clout, noting she doesn't need to pull any stunts to sell anything she's dropping, adding that many of her projects have done well on their own. I don't understand why people want the reason for the divorce to be something so, so bad. It's nothing crazy out of this world happened. Sometimes people really do grow apart, Cardi B said. I've been with this man for four years. I have a kid with this man. I have a household with this man. Sometimes you're just tired of the arguments, of the build-ups. You get tired sometimes. Recently, in true Cardi B fashion, her 28th birthday celebration was lavish and over the top. The WAP rapper travelled to Vegas to enjoy a fun and festive birthday party with her friends and her ex, Offset. The two who broke up some times ago after rapper Cardi B filed for divorce appeared to get cozy at a birthday party. In fact, Offset shared several behind the scenes videos in his Instagram stories showing the Grammy winner dancing, laughing and having a good time. In his short clips, the press rapper was doled up with glam makeup and hair. She kept her outfit casual though as she rocked a grey asymmetrical bodysuit. Later in the night, the two were photographed kissing and packing on the PDA. While it's unclear if the duo has officially reconciled their romance, a source revealed that Offset not only put his love on display, but he bought the star a Rolls Royce truck for her birthday. According to reports circulating around, the Rolls Royce featured a special design on the inside that was a homage to their two-year-old daughter, while Offset reportedly getting Coulter's name embroidered onto the seats. That wasn't the only romantic gesture the My Gosh Remember did for Cardi's birthday. Early on Saturday, the birthday girl took on Instagram to show off a billboard of her and Coulter decked out in pink. Happy birthday, mummy, a message read on the massive sign, love, culture. Thank you, sir, I love it, Cardi captioned her post. It didn't take long for her millions of followers to assume Offset surprised her with the gift. Just last month, Cardi candidly opened up about being single after going live on OnlyFans. According to reports circulating around, the Rolls Royce featured a special design on the inside that was a homage to their two-year-old daughter, with Offset reportedly getting Coulter's name embroidered onto the seats. That wasn't the only romantic gesture the MyGoss member did for Cardi's birthday. Early on Saturday, the birthday girl took to Instagram to show off a billboard of her and Culture decked out in pink. Happy birthday, mummy, a message read on the massive sign, love, Culture. Thank you, sir. I love it. Cardi captioned her post. It didn't take long for her millions of followers to assume Offset surprised her with the gift. Just last month, Cardi candidly opened up about being single after going live on OnlyFans. Cardi went on to address fans who criticised her decision, saying in a video posted on social media, I just wanted to apologise to you guys. I want to apologise because, you know, you guys, I married you guys too. You know what I'm saying? I married you guys too. I had a kid with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I own about, what, 10 properties with y'all already. In a subsequent tweet, Cardi wrote, I'ma make this very clear. Before I was a celeb, I was crazy ass Cardi B. Same bitch you saw on TV and on IG talking shit and doing crazy shit. I'm still that little bit more calm now, but still the same. I know why you don't expect something different now. This ain't Disney. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.